Okay, everybody stay calm, but I might be a little bit drunk. Hello, welcome back to Drinking by My Shell. My name is Emma, and today I'm going to be doing the Sisterhood of the World tag. And this is a brand new nose. And this is a super original tag. It's unlike anything I've seen before because every time that you do it, the tag questions are a little bit different. I have actually been tagged in this twice by two different people, so I actually have 20 questions to answer from different people, from two different people. Sorry that I'm out of focus, my whole brain is out of focus. It is now currently 3.30 in the morning, uh, what, where's my, what, uh, guys, where's my charger, hang on a minute. Sorry that my lipstick is all smudged. It looked really good at the start of the night. I have no responsibility for this lipstick now. Firstly, I've been asked 10 questions by The Baked Book. So thank you very much for tagging me. Here are my answers to your questions. Question number one, pair a book and album or artist. Taylor Swift. Question number two, what is the noise that you make during a part of a book where you feel very emotionally moved? <laughs> Question three, what chunk of the day do you get the most reading done? In bed, right at the end of the day, that's when I always read. Question four, how do you think reading has shaped your personal character? I mean, that is so hard to answer, it's just who I am. Question five, long book or short book? That's a good question because I would go short book just instinctively because I want to read more. I like the satisfaction of reading a long book, but I tend to go for a short book. Question number six, what kind of characters do you find yourself relating the most to? I relate mostly to fucking hot messes like me. Question number seven, do an impression of your least favorite character. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter. <laughs> Question number eight, dialogue or internal thought? I guess I prefer internal thought because you like hear more about what's going on in the characters' minds. Question number nine, what is your favorite or least favorite part of booktube? That's a good question. Um, my favorite part of booktube is being part of a community that's all about books because I fucking love books. And my least favorite part would be, I don't know, I don't think I have a least favorite. I think it's all really nice. And question number 10 is to say the first thing that pops into your head, kettle. So those are my 10 questions from That Baked Book. No, is that right? So those are my 10 questions from The Baked Book. Thank you very much for asking me those questions. I now have 10 more questions from Cozy Book Nook. So let's give them a go. Number one, what is your favorite book related memory? The time that I read One Day by David Nichols. I was on my gap year at the time in Torino and I was finding it quite hard. So this one day I climbed up this hill and I went and sat on a bench on top of this hill where you could see this like amazing view of the city. And I sat there and I read One Day all in one day. And it was just fucking the most amazing thing. Question two, what is your favorite genre and how often do you read outside your comfort zone? That's a good question. My favorite genre at the moment is thrillers. I read a whole range of shit, but I guess I don't read outside my comfort zone. I don't really read like sci-fi and fantasy very often. Question number three is what really makes you fall in love with a book? Ooh. I guess it would be the characters. If I believe them and I think that they're real, then I really want to know what is happening to them. So that would make me fall in love with a book. Question number four, do you prefer reading multiple books at once? No, I don't. I don't prefer it, but I do it. I slip it in wherever I can, I whack out a book, I give it a good read. <laughs> Question number five, what is your preferred place to read? It is, you can't see it, it's just to the left. I'll take a picture on my phone. I'll do it right now so that you make sure that I do it. Here we go. So what I do is I read on my beanbag, which is there in the corner, I sit on that and I put my feet up on my book footstool, which currently my laptop is on. There I am. Hey, this is getting all kinds of confusing. Question number six, what is an underrated book that you think everyone should read? I mean, I'm obviously gonna say Ella Enchanted because it's just the most fucking fantastic book of all time. And it's so underrated because so many people have never read it 
and they've seen the movie and the movie was shit. Don't even talk to me about the movie. Question seven, what is the oldest book on your shelf? Is it read or unread? This is The Watsons by Jane Austen. She never finished it and then it was completed by my like great great aunt, my great great grandmother or something. And I actually haven't read it, so I really need to do that. Here it is. Question eight, how have your reading habits changed since starting booktube? That's an interesting question because they've changed a lot. I've started reading a fuck ton. Question nine, what book is at the top of your TBR for 2017? Um, to be honest, everything that I have on my TBR pile I wanna read and there's too many things to go through. So I'll maybe take a picture of it. And then finally, question 10 is what was your least favorite book of 2016? I would just 100% not recommend the, what's it called? 100% not recommend, I still can't remember what it's called. Watching Edie by Camilla Way, I don't think that's a good one. So those are my questions from the Cozy Book Net. Thank you so much to both of you who asked me questions for this tag, it's really fun. Now all I have to do is make up 10 new questions and then tag some people. I will, I guess, tag the two people who tagged me back if you want to answer my new questions. But like, obviously don't feel that you have to then ask new questions because this will go on for fucking ever. And then I will think of small people and write them below. And I will also write 10 questions of my own. For now though, I think I need to drink a fuck ton of water and go to sleep. Because what am I doing? It's the middle of the night and I'm so tired. <laughs> and drunk. So thank you for bearing with me while I sat through this ramble. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below if you have something to say to me and also subscribe to this video. No, subscribe to this channel for new videos every Thursday and Friday. I will see you next time.